Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Casey, also known as the Carolina Hustler here on YouTube. Hey, guys, today, oh, yeah, we got Jesse in the background. We're playing golf together, knocking out 18 holes. That's not looking good for me right now. I'm trying to wing out a whole 18 holes here. But anyway, it's been fun. You guys, I get the question a lot, what kind of golf clubs sell on eBay? So today is going to be a what sold on golf clubs on eBay. Guys, I'm going to give you all 10 golf clubs that sold for me the last few days. It's made some good profit. So, guys, we're going to do that with every putt I make. Even Jesse might hit a putt. That's right, and on the last putt, I will show you a putter that I sold. It has to go out today, and that will be the last golf club that we use in today's video that sold. So, guys, we oh, appreciate the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We'll oh. See you on the putt green. What? Make sure you hit that little bell button if you want to be notified. Please hit the bell button. That bell button might make some good money here in the future if you know a little bit about the golf club game. So guys, we're going to do the show, and we'll see you out there. Okay guys, first up at bat here we have a tailor-made driver. I paid $5 for it and it sold for $89.99. Next up we have is a King Cobra driver. I paid $15 for it and it sold for $60. Next up we have is a King Cobra driver. I paid $15 for it and it sold for $60. Next up is a King Cobra driver. I paid $15 for it and it sold for $60. I paid twenty five dollars for this in a bag of golf clubs, and this one itself sold for sixty four ninety nine. All right, guys. Next item up is from Adams. Adams is a pretty good golf club brand to look after. I sell a lot of these. This golf club set came in that same set the Rocket Ball Z Driver did for twenty five dollars, and I sold this set for one hundred and twenty dollars. And this was the left handed version. It's called the Adams A twelve OS. Okay guys, another name to look after it would be Nike. I know everybody's familiar with Nike. So Nike makes golf clubs where they used to. If you find them, they do sell very well and they hit good and are very sought after by golfers. This one came in a bag of golf clubs for 60 and I sold this one for $74.99. Next golf club we sold was made by a company called Cleveland. Cleveland makes a lot of good golf clubs and they're highly sought after and they sell very good. This one's called the Cleveland Mashy. It's an older model hybrid. I paid $3 for this golf club in Goodwill and it sold for, I think, $30 plus shipping. All right, guys, next golf club on the list is made by a company called Titleist. Titleist makes a lot of good golf clubs, including this Titleist Volky Wedge that I picked up in a Goodwill for $3 and sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next item up we have is a brand called Ben Hogan. Ben Hogan is normally a brand that a lot of older golfers look after. This set here, I think, cost me around $15, and I sold the whole set for $200 plus shipping. Next item up is a pink putter I picked up in a bulk buy for $10 and sold for $64.99 plus shipping. And last but not least, we have the Seymour putter. I got this putter in the same bulk buy with the Ping I2 putter, and I sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. Hey guys, so now I made it back home. That was a really good round of golf. I hope y'all enjoyed the clips and what sold. I'm gonna go ahead and package up the Seymour putter and I'm gonna give y'all a bonus and show y'all how I do it. Um, I get these boxes from Amazon. Uh, I left the link in the bottom there for you so you can check it out. Um, those are usually pretty easy. They're about 36 inches and if you need one. Yep, all you gotta do is go to Amazon and wait for it to arrive. They normally don't take too long to get here normally. I think about two days, so Amazon's probably one of the quickest. Amazon gets them here very fast, it's like lickety split. Wow, that was very fast. So yeah, this is the box you're gonna need. And we're gonna put a golf club in there and tape it up and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right guys, before you put the golf club in the box, you wanna make sure you wrap the head up as I'm showing and also wrap around the grip there. That way it doesn't wobble around in the box. Yeah, slide it on down in the box and get it ready for shipment. So the box is only designed for a 36 inch golf club. So if it is a little bit taller, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need an extra top box here and I'm gonna demonstrate on how you ship it. So as you can see, the golf club I'm using now is a little bit taller than the box. So now I've made it my top box right here so I can put it on the top of it. So you just shove that down over the top of the golf club there as I'm showing. And yep, there you go, flush and ready to be shipped. And you definitely wanna tape it. So I'm showing you here, this is where I'll tape it. Make sure you get about three wraps around that before shipping it off. That way it's tightly and secured and you have no issues with it being damaged or coming apart during travels. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was about golf clubs, but it does give you some good information on what I look for and what I sell when it comes to them. 
I do pretty well with it. So guys, I appreciate y'all watching today. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if not, and hit the notification bell for more videos, and we'll see y'all guys on the next one. See ya.